Hey guys, in this video I want to go over some basic problems where we're going to have a force in the y-axis that's going to cause an acceleration in the y-axis or the vertical axis. Let's check this out. So first of all, remember to solve force problems, any force problems, we're going to draw a free body diagram. And if you have space there, you can write FBD. That's the first step. Then we're going to write that the sum of all forces equals MA, and we're going to solve the problem. Um, if you have multiple objects, we just do this multiple times, one for each object. In all of these examples, I'm going to use G to be 10. Now, G is not 10, right? So don't get confused and think that you can do that on the test. Uh, I'm just doing this to make this a little bit faster. Sometimes professor will let you do that, but unless he does, G is actually 9.8. I have these two sort of four-part examples that we're going to explore here. So in this first one, I'm giving you four different tensions, and I want to know for each one of these tensions, what is the acceleration that the block would have. So it's a four kilogram object or block that's in the air, and it's pulled vertically up. So we're going to call this our tension. Now, in all of these, there's also obviously going to be an mg pulling down. And the gravity, we're using 10, so this is 40 going down. This is 60, and I know what is the acceleration of this block. I'm going to use F equals MA. Why? Because this is a force problem. And to find acceleration in a force problem, I use F equals MA. Sum of all forces equals MA. Um, there are two forces, so I'm going to do this. The acceleration, the mass is 4, and the acceleration is what I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm going to, this is a positive 60, because it's 60 going up, negative 40. So I get a positive 20 equals 4A. So A equals positive 5 meters per second. The fact that this is a positive tells me that this acceleration is going up, which should make sense because this force is stronger than this force. So if you think of this as a tug of war, the force pulling up wins. Um, this part B here is very similar, but the force is 20 instead. I want you to pause the video and give this a shot. It's a very similar setup. I'm going to keep going, but hopefully you paused it and you tried it yourself to make sure you're following. So this is a 4. I got the same mg of a 40, but this tension now is 20. At a quick glance, you can see that this force is actually the strongest force, so you should expect that your acceleration is going to be going down, which is going to be a negative. Okay, So I'm going to say the sum of all forces equals ma. I have a 20 up, a 40 down, the mass is a 4. And if you solve for this, you get negative 20 equals 4a, and a equals negative 5. The fact that it's a negative tells me that it's going down. Okay, So I can just draw it here as a a equals 5 with an arrow down. It's the same thing as writing a equals negative 5. Um, and that's the end of that one. Let me do the next one. Here the tension is 40. Uh, 40. So I have an mg of 40 and the tension is 40. Now if you look at these, they have the same magnitude. These forces cancel. This is called equilibrium, and this means the acceleration is going to be simply zero. If you don't quite see it, you could actually just do the same steps up here, and you're going to get this answer. I have a 40 up, and I have a 40 down. Mass is 4, and I'm looking for the acceleration. This just becomes 0 equals 4a, so a is just 0. Okay? I want you to do this one where the tension is 0, so there's no tension. Pause the video, do it, should be real quick. I'm going to jump right into it here. So 4, I have an mg equals 40, and I don't have a tension, so it doesn't actually exist. So when I do the sum of all forces equals ma, all I have is a negative 40 going down, mass is 4, acceleration is negative 10. This should make sense because if the only force is your mg, I get that negative mg equals ma and acceleration is negative g. That's why I got a 10 because we're using 10 for gravity instead of a 9.8. Otherwise, this would have been a 9.8. Okay? So very simple, very straightforward, I think. Um, it's going to get a little bit more complicated, but this is the beginning of it, okay? So a 5 kilogram block is in the air, pulled vertically by a string, same setup. 
Uh, but now the block is 5, so it's getting pulled down by an mg of 50. And I'm going to now give you the acceleration and ask for the tension, so just the opposite. What is the tension if the acceleration is accelerating down? Um, so this acceleration would be a negative 3 when you plug it into the equation. So this is, I'm looking for a force on a force problem, so I'm going to do F equals MA. The forces are positive tension plus negative mg or negative 50. Mass is 5 and acceleration is what I'm looking for. So actually acceleration, I have it. Acceleration is a negative 3 because I said it's down with 3. Okay, so I have T equals, this is negative 15. This 50 goes over to the other side as a positive and I get a 35 newtons. And we can kind of look here and see if it makes sense. Um, this force is smaller than this force. So if you think of this as a tug of war, mg wins because it's pulling harder down. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's look at this one here. I have a 5. It's being pulled down with an mg of 50. And now it's accelerating up with a constant 4. And we want to know what is its tension. Again, I want you to pause the video and try this out. It should be very quick and see if you are uh, following, if you're getting this correctly. So I'm going to keep going here. Sum of all forces equals MA. I have tension up. I have negative 50 down. Mass is 5. And acceleration is 4. 4 positive. So I get T equals, this is 20, plus 50. This goes over to the other side, becomes a positive equals 70. I got a positive 70 um, going up over here, right? Um, so this means uh, it had to be a positive 70 because I'm pulling up. But anyway, um, this is bigger than this, so it makes sense that I am accelerating <coughs> up. All right, so let's do two more here. You're accelerating down with a constant 10 meters per second. I'm going to do this one. I want you guys to try out the next one. So your mg here is 50, and your acceleration is 10 down, and I want to know what is the tension. So sum of all forces equals ma. The forces are tension up, 50 down, mass is 5, and the acceleration is 10. Look what I get. T minus 50 equals negative 50. So T equals negative 50. This goes over to the other side, becomes positive 50 and I get a tension is zero. So that's kind of weird, but look, my acceleration is 10 down. That's gravity, right? If I'm accelerating with gravity, again, 99.8 in this page, we're doing 10. If I'm accelerating with gravity, it's because there is no tension. So that kind of makes sense. My acceleration, the y-axis, is my negative g. So it makes sense that this problem, this object is in free fall because the only force acting on it is gravity. Therefore, tension is zero. All right? So that makes sense. I want you to try this real quick and notice that it's a constant seven meters per second. Okay, pause the video, give it a shot. Um, I'm going to keep going here. One thing to remember, as soon as you see constant velocity, you should be thinking acceleration equals zero, which for forces, this means that the object is in equilibrium. So I have an mg pulling down 50. Acceleration is actually zero. Acceleration equals zero means equilibrium. It also means that the forces cancel. Okay, it also means that forces cancel. They cancel exactly. So that means that this tension has to be a 50 as well so that it cancels. The fact that this object is moving up with a 7 doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that the force pulling up is stronger. The forces cancel, the acceleration is zero, and it keeps moving with constant velocity. It's moving with, with a 7 because at some point it had 7, it was given 7 meters per second, it was accelerated to 7, but then the force is balanced. Okay? So it's kind of tricky, but the force have to be the same. Sum of all forces equals ma. The acceleration is simply 0. I know this because it's a constant velocity. So plus t plus negative mg equals 0. t has to equal mg, and it's just 50 newtons okay because this problem is at equilibrium anyway that's it for this sheet and hopefully makes sense let me know if you have any questions